Hi, my name is Stephanie Stahl and I am a full-time author and illustrator. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I post videos all about self-publishing, so if that does interest you, make sure you like and subscribe. Also, if you are looking for more in-depth tips and tricks about self-publishing, including classes, documents, contracts, and more, go over to patreon.com slash bethanystahl where you can join in on all the additional information I provide only to my self-pub patrons. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about school visits and how to get them. So school visits can be one of the most fun and one of the most profitable ways you can make money and really enjoy being an author in your author career. So these are the moments where you get to feel really cool and go around and share your journey with everyone. And I really, really love author visits because it is the only time I get to interact with actual children reading my books. So it is very fun to see and it is very fun for me to interact with children who are enjoying my stories. So I really, really love that aspect of my author career. So getting school visits can be a little complicated because you have to initially make a contact and then sell yourself to the school of why it's important. Luckily, schools really love authors because we can help inspire kids to pay attention a little more in reading and writing and literacy in general courses. That way they are inspired to be more attentive in school and it is a nice day off for teachers to have a guest speaker take over for the day. So where do you even contact a school? There is a website which I will share with you in the description where you can search and find schools all around you. This is going to help you figure out what schools are even in your area or what schools you want to target outside of your area. This list does give you their websites where you can go and find the email addresses. So for school visits, it does vary school to school on who is in charge of school visits. I have had principals be in charge. I've had vice principals be in charge, librarians, as well as individual teachers of the grade. So if it is a new school I've never approached, I will typically start with the librarian as well as a teacher in the grade I'm most targeting. So my books are best for kindergarten to first grade. So I will likely grab a first grade teacher and put her in the email or him and talk to those teachers first. If I can't find any additional information, I will typically reach out to the principal last. So the principal isn't very involved with special events. That is really going to be for the teachers and the librarian to figure out either through their PTA program or through a special events coordinator. So I would target those two first. So when I reach out to schools, I introduce myself and I share a little bit about my books what types of grades it's good for, what topics I will cover, and basically why it's important for students to see an author. From there, I will let them know that I'm completely open and flexible to any time they'd like to have me, just let me know. From that initial email, you may hear back or you may have to do a follow-up, hey, I emailed a little while back, I'm the local author who emailed you, I was just following up to see if you would like to schedule a reading. When you're a little bit more persuasive the second time, a lot of times I've gotten emails back, oh yes, oh my gosh, I was going to email you, totally forgot, it slipped in my mind, we got busy. Teachers are very busy, be understanding with them, so they will reach out and then you will schedule something. Don't be afraid if the school tells you no, that's okay, just remove them from your list and keep on going. So it does depend on if they allow visitors, if they need special funding or permissions. So be aware of that. Another way you can reach out to schools is by sending them postcards in the mail. So physically addressing it to a person, sending it to them, advertising your books. If you want my postcard template, join my Patreon page and you will be able to utilize that. And that has been another way that you can contact schools and get the word out there. 
This is also the time where you need to establish the rules of your visit. Are you going to charge the school a flat fee and then on addition have book sales? Are you going to require a certain number of book sales in order for you to go? Or are you just going to visit for free and whatever sales you make, you make? So that is entirely up to you. I have seen authors do it all different ways from people charging a hundred to a thousand dollars a visit. I've seen people who don't charge and only do book sales. And I've seen people who have done it completely for free and hope to get book sales. So my best advice is just make sure whichever method you choose, you are at least getting paid for the time you are there. And then I do recommend that you at least have an order form be sent home preferably prior to your visit, but at the very least the day of your visit. It does depend on if you are able to have them print it or if you can offer to print it. If they say no, offer to print it yourself and see if that happens and then just go to a copy and print store and have a bunch of copies made. Sometimes schools just don't want to provide the paper or the ink for that visit, but if you know you can get a good sale there, go for it, go ahead and print it. I also like to offer that every single student gets to go home with a free coloring book page. That way no student is left out. So I will create a coloring book page if I don't have one already for the book I'm reading. That way everybody can go home with it. And then on that coloring book page, I will put my website that way mom and dad, whoever is at home with them can find my website and see my books. Another way that you can get schools to reach out to you, which I have done, is through press releases, through local interviews, and through donations. So a lot of times I have donated my books to little free libraries where teachers have stumbled upon them, looked up my contact information, and invited me out to the school. Um, other times they have seen me online or they have seen me on press releases or in interviews. So they have seen all this information about me out and about in the community and have invited me to come in. So if you are a little bit more passive, but you still want it, just make sure you are advertising yourself in your community or in the area where you want the school to contact you. And hopefully somebody will see it and reach back out to you. However, with authorship, we do have to promote ourselves a lot, which I totally understand can be really uncomfortable, especially if you are introverted like myself. I know it may not appear that way, but I am only able to speak to you because you are through a camera and not in person. So you do have to put on an extroverted front to make it look like you are totally cool and confident with getting your word out there. And you have to be confident in yourself, you have to be confident in your books, and you have to be confident in what you're asking them to pay. If you are asking them to pay, or if you have rules, be confident and stick to those rules so you appear to be a professional. And the more confident you are, the better results you will have back. So don't be afraid to be your own advocate. In the self-publishing world, we are very much our own advocates. We are very much our own cheerleaders. So really, really, really make sure you put yourself out there strong and just, you can do it. You, I promise you can do it. Even if you're introverted and don't like talking to people at all, don't worry, you can do it, I promise. And kids are a lot of fun to talk to. They're not like anybody else in the world. They're just awesome. So. Get yourself out there and go get some school visits. One last tip is different school districts will have different rules. Some schools will require you to have a background check, others won't, others will make sure you go through a bunch of screenings. So even the day of, they might check you over for weapons. So just be aware and flexible to what the school needs. I've had to get background checks before, I've had to get badges before. There have been schools that have just literally opened a side door and let me walk in, which is really dangerous uh, just because stranger danger, but be absolutely professional no matter how they decide to handle you and how to go into the school. I would recommend you always be escorted around. That way you don't get lost and that way you do have somebody with you just in case something crazy happens. So. 
whether it's a student escort or a teacher escort, always make sure you are being shown around the school and not ending up in areas where you're not supposed to be so you don't cause the school alarm. <laughs> so if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all next time. If you are looking for more information about publishing, go over to bethanystahl.com slash classes to see a huge collection of information that I have gathered for you separated out into topics. Now, most of these classes are free to access, but there are a few that are exclusive to my self-pub patrons. If you do want to join that, go over to patreon.com slash bethanystahl where you can join and get access to the classes as well as other behind the scenes tips, tricks, and documents that are exclusive to that squad. If you are trying to get into contact with me to ask questions, the best place to do that would be Patreon. I do see all of those messages and comments first, and I am able to reply to those almost immediately. So that is the best place for more individualized help. I hope this video has helped, and I will see you all next time.